Hey entrepreneurs, we got a great question this week about how you can save your live streams from Instagram. And there's actually two very simple ways that you can be doing this. The first is directly inside of the Instagram app after you're done live streaming. Once you have hit that end button on your live stream, you do get that screen that says, do you want to share it to your story or do you want to delete it? Before you hit that button, up in the top left hand corner, there's a download button. All you have to do is tap it. It's going to scroll for a second and then it will say saved. Once it says saved, you are then free to post it to your stories or delete it if you need to and move on with your life. Now, pro tip here, when you do this, it only captures what you have done directly to camera. It does not record the comments that are coming in from your live viewers. So if you want that social proof, this might not be your best choice. Now, if you do want just the solid feed, that straight feed that's you talking to the camera, this is a great choice for you. Go ahead and download that, save it directly to your camera roll, and you're ready to move on with life. But if you want that social proof, the second option might be the right choice for you. And this is actually to screen record it. Now, I tether my phone to my computer, and because I'm using a Mac, I'm using QuickTime to record my screen. This gets all of those incoming comments as they're coming in, and then I'm able to save the footage to my computer when I am done. I just have to make sure I remember to hit the record button when I start and when I end my live stream. And I am right there while I'm live to swipe away any notifications because it is a live stream. It's gonna record anything that's on your screen. Now, if you wanna do it afterwards, you can actually tether your phone to your computer and you can go through it, but your comments will sometimes get a little mixed up because Instagram's playback can be a little weird sometimes. So you might get comments from the very end sitting on your screen the entire time without it scrolling through. So I like to do it while I'm live, but pro tip here. If you have a guest on your show, you are unable to record it while you're live because if you plug your tether in, it will kill your audio and you won't be able to hear your guests. So when I do have guests on my show, I have to go back later on and I have to screen record it after the fact. And usually when I do this, I do it first thing in the morning before anyone else is conscious because I get so many notifications on my phone every single day that I would just sit there for an hour swiping it away, trying to make sure it's not ending up in my feed if I did it during the middle of the day. So I always wait until the next morning, usually around 6 or 7 a.m. when people aren't contacting me as much so I don't have to worry about swiping away those notifications. But if you are screen recording after the fact, you do want to be mindful of sitting there because you don't want someone texting you something you don't want in a video. Trust me, it's happened before, so you want to make sure that you are conscious of that as you are screen recording. Now, you can, of course, screen record on your phone if your phone gives you that capability, but the point here is to either download it from Instagram or you can screen record it to then repurpose that footage. Simple as that. Now make sure you stay tuned because we are continuing our Instagram hacks and live stream hacks series. So hit that notification bell because we're still dropping more and more and more videos on how you can grow your platform through smart social media marketing. My students are making thousands of extra dollars every single month simply by doing a couple of simple things over on social media and doing it really well to create more profit within their business. And I would love for you to join us. If you've got questions or comments, get down in my comments below. I would love to hear from you so that I can make videos on what you are struggling with with your social media marketing to make sure that you are growing your business the way that you want and need to to make sure you're getting that profit within your brand. I'm Gayam Robinson, social media marketing strategist and CEO of Livestream Action Plan. I would love to see you guys over at Livestream Action Plan where we're giving you a guide map, a roadmap, a guidebook to creating one really big live stream in your business every single month so that you're actually growing in a profitable way. And we give you everything from your marketing scripts to your on your live agenda to everything you need to get your guests on your show and to make sure everything is planned and ready to go. All you have to do is hit that record button and you are ready to go and grow your business. Livestreamactionplan.com for more information. P.S. There's a totally free course. It is a full comprehensive course on how to create your own weekly talk show over there in addition to our monthly membership. So I would love for you to come join us. Livestreamactionplan.com. And of course, I'll see you over over at Social Media for Bosses for more of our, our talk show where we're educating you on social media strategy. Thanks so much for joining me. I will see you again in the next video.